Hey guys, I'm going to read you some comments from the MTG Finance subreddit. MetaZoo game shuts down. MetaZoo always seemed like a FOMO scam to me anyways. Oh well. Folks would expect this Pokemon ripoff. No way Rudy kept telling me it was an investment. How can this be? For every Rudy statement, you can also find an example of him saying the exact opposite. Player guy plays both sides so that he always comes up on top. I don't consider it a FOMO scam. They clearly printed a lot of wilderness. As someone who works at a local game shop, this game was a tumor. The player base was non-existent, product would sit regardless of what it was, and the print quality was abysmal. Took up tons of space and had terrible communication with the local game shop community. MetaZoo going strong, folks, folks, folks. Rudy was only playing himself with MetaZoo. Rudy was playing people. He always is, always has been. I find applying the inverse Kramer index when listening to Rudy is the most effective. Buy whatever he's bearish on and avoid whatever he likes at all costs. Gotta remember Rudy has access to wholesale. He pushes a lot of things that he needs help clearing. I walked into locals and seen the same one guy sitting at the MetaZoo table by himself four weeks in a row before he switched to Magic. Didn't TCG player do a promo for this game in the last month for some $150 super collectible item? That that item is now like $40 a box. It was the Hello Kitty item. MetaZoo will stand the test of time. Rudy Alpha Investment. That's mostly from his past Patreon posting, but I'm sure he has said that in the past videos as well. You're right, Rudy never hyped MetaZoo. Yeah, I have to agree. I would never jump into everything Rudy says. I educate myself and decide. I think he's a smart person, and while he's not always right, he's totally right about all the internet stupidity. People blaming him for bad financial decisions they make by themselves are prophetic losers. Grow up and make your own picture. Sign up for his Patreon and see for yourself. For me, it was obvious from the start. Who asked for this product? I get what they were aiming for, but it's such a niche target audience. Cryptid is something not a lot of people know about, and the art style was questionable. I was trying to imitate it was trying to imitate early Pokemon art style, but kind of failed in my opinion. And to the ambition of Michael, when I heard he was trying to launch an animated series in merch, I knew the guy was either trying to do a rug pull, or he was too ambish, way too ambitious and would bring the game in the trash. Lo and behold, here we are. One less competitor, I guess. My thought always was, like, how much cryptid lore is there? Enough to do several years of new sets? Like, how many times are you going to make Mothman or whatever? I never understood. Always looked like a company trying to fleece their fan base. That is true, and I think the topic is really interesting for discussion. My country has a TCG based on real-world real paintings that, while the pool is much larger, it is still bound by those walls. Niche audience, it was aimed at NFT crypto bro moron from the get-go. That's why Rudy pumped it so hard. So if you guys want to like read some interesting subreddit stuff. Um, as for Rudy, I think he was either a pawn in all of this or was fooled by the creator. I don't think he had Melissa's intent for getting involved with the product. If I were trying to, trying to do a pump and dump... In no way I would involve my family, hence why I think he was probably just got convinced and got to get involved. It's not like a mustache twirling pump and dump, but he got close to the creators and had all the incentives for the card game to do well, so he hyped it. How much was he being a good sport, true believer, or taking the chances to become a billionaire? Only he knows. 
That being said, he indeed pumped it, but he didn't seem too happy about the creator dumping. So when Rudy's not the one dumping, that's a problem, right? That is a problem. I think Rudy was big on this, laugh out loud. He used to t always talk it up. He was likely paid in cash or product to promote it. Illegal without declaring as a sponsor. He openly said he had business ties with them. There's even a Rudy card in MetaZoo. Laughing my ass off. Um, you're absolute moron. If you're being compensated in any way, absolutely not. The FTC is very clear on this. You will be subject to fines of up to 50k. He made a video of him receiving the news. He has 200 boxes of each set. He said he had 200 of each set. If he does, it ain't worth squat now. Market tanked hard. Rudy will be fine. The people he shielded the product to, who are much, much smaller than him, guess they got effed. R.I.P. Rudy. I used to watch him a lot because I found it entertaining and he shielded this product a ton. Feel like he's gotten worse. He contradicted himself with this and card grading just to show products he is obviously getting a big cut into. Also feels predatory for people as his audience is likely over leveraged and cardboard when his normal finance videos where he talks about some sense, he says to only invest a very small percentage once you got your shit taken care of. I watched maybe two of his videos before turning being turned off. Lately, he's been saying the future is grim for them and he expected a shutdown. Guess he dumped everything a week ago. I don't recall him buying any MetaZoo collections. It's always vintage MTG and code foils from the first three sets of Flesh and Blood. It's like you should do what he does and not listen to his sales speeches. And I mean he has multiple houses, stocks, and at least has a food business. I just for my own education, a question if I may. A few of my students played this game during their lunch. I learned a bit about it from them. The concept seems interesting. I'm curious to what made it this a pump and dump. Who knew a game solely based on the secondary investor market would fail eventually? The game has the most absolute dog shit art. I feel bad if I find a guy who had his four year old son or daughter draw the art, but otherwise it is cringe. Good riddance. Rudy believers are in shock that rip off Pokemon with ugly art failed. Remember when Rudy is pushing something, it is to ensure he's pulling something in, into his own pocket. Nothing more, nothing less. It's just business. Big old rug pull in my opinion. If you really think about it, this just makes all MetaZoo reserveless. Rudy is probably happy. It's a literal scam from the start and Shil still defended it and people got downvoted all the time for questioning very cult-like following. Rudy gets involved. Your indie TCG game is dead. He came from MetaZoo. He's definitely a strong symptom of pump and dump. At some point, he'll have to protect his own brand though or even his most devout followers will stop drinking his Kool-Aid. Ha ha ha, get effed Rudy. You mean his loyal fanboys and buyers. Rudy is fine. He is fl he has fleeced his moron base. Heck, he could sell them little shit and they would gobble it up like we saw with his anniversary kits, which were more predatory than Magic's 1,000th anniversary proxy fiasco. Yeah, Rudy's most definitely crying, wiping it off with the bills he made from pushing the game. He'll be okay. His fanboys, not so much. And uh, it goes on for quite a bit of time. 